we like Weather Whiz Kids because they help us play better trivia games. Yeah, we, get, we got an interesting one tonight, and uh, it depends on the part of the world you're in, I guess. We may not be thinking of hurricanes right now, but... Yeah, you know, exactly. In some places, yeah, maybe you are talking about it, but you got to be in a diff different spot where it's, it's winter in the northern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere, it is summertime. Not as many tropical systems, but in the southern hemisphere, hurricanes are called cyclones. And in the eastern hemisphere, when you're talking China and Japan, those are typhoons. Same storms. Same development, but just different names because of geographic different locations. But we've got a different question having to do with tropics tonight uh, from Liberty Elementary. Hi, my name is Alex, and I go to Liberty Elementary. My question is, why are hurricanes on the east coast and not on the west? Great question. Why are hurricanes on the East Coast and not so much on the West Coast? Well, let's first of all take a look at what happens on the East Coast. We have this big ridge of high pressure. Here's the East Coast right here. It's off into the Atlantic, and so the air flows clockwise, so we get the easterly waves, and we have very warm water here. You need warm water for a hurricane, so if we expand the view from the U.S. over to Africa, we get these easterly waves following the jet stream. They come off of the coast of uh, Africa here as a wave, and then they develop. They're just north of the equator. Storms can develop at the equator hurricanes because you have to have spin and there's no spin at the equator. You've got to get a few degrees north of that. So there's the tropical storm, there's hurricanes, and as they move in, there's plenty of warm water that's further to the north. That's the key that allows hurricanes to maybe go north up the east coast or hit Florida or the islands here to the south. I want to show you a very detailed map. I've got a couple to show you here. This is the United States right in here, and what you're seeing is the tracks of all of the tropical storms from a long time ago into history. And again, look at this. You can see where the equator is, right? Because you can't get storms forming down below that. But these are all tracks coming off of Africa and some of them going to the north. Notice how the, they affect the east coast entirely, but you don't see it here along the west coast. The reason being is there's colder water. Here's another closer inspection of the United States. These, again, are all the tracks coming off of, of Africa, off of South America as well. And these are the tracks of the storms. Plenty of warm water here for the hurricanes to survive and they'll cool, uh, the, the water cools here and they'll weaken as they go to the north. But notice the west coast here. There's cold water coming all the way down here, the Baja sometimes, so the storms form to the south. A few do curve to the north, and actually we get the remnants, even in Boise once, we get the remnants of a storm that came due north, but most everything goes further to the west because of the water temperature, and you'll see the water temperature right here. The oranges are the warmest off Africa. Plenty of warm water going all the way up to the right around New Jersey so the storms can survive here, but look at the cold water along the west coast right here. It's very difficult for a storm to form and move north. If it does, it usually dies right out, and by the way, that little pool of cool water is what protects Hawaii. If Hawaii, if we didn't have that cool water between us and Hawaii, Hawaii would be getting hammered with hurricanes, but they tend to not get them. It's a good thing that cool water is there. So there you go. East Coast, yeah. West Coast, not as much. Huh. Good answers. Fascinating. Cool looking like pictures, it. too. Yeah. So coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, President